Good evening, I'm Greg Floyd. Hi everyone, I'm Liz Bishop. A local Subway restaurant franchise is facing a federal lawsuit tonight. The manager at the Subway in Rotterdam in the Rotterdam Mall there is accused of trying to trade sex for a job. Brennan Lewis is following the story for us in our studio tonight. Brennan, the allegations first made two years ago. That's right, Greg. We first brought you this story in 2013. That's when one 17-year-old came forward to us with explicit text messages from the manager. Now two years and several negotiations later, the federal government is suing the restaurant's owner. It was all out of nowhere. I woke up at 8 o'clock this morning to a text saying, how badly do you want this job? That was Alicia Rizzacone two years ago when she first said she received a text message from then subway manager Nick Kelly. A few days before, the 17-year-old had applied to work at the subway at Rotterdam Square Mall. A complaint filed Tuesday in federal court accuses Kelly of asking, quote, would you sleep with the manager to get this job, unquote. He then supposedly followed it up with, quote, bang my brains out, the job is yours, unquote. He told me to meet him there by 10 o'clock, and then he sent me a picture of himself and said that if I didn't send a picture back to him, that um, the deal was off. The Equal Employment Opportunity Commission says another 17-year-old also came forward with a similar story. The federal complaint says, quote, when the teen refused to have sexual relations with Kelly in exchange for a job at Subway, she was not hired by the defendant, unquote. The defendant is Draper Development, LLC. Based at this colony building, the franchisee operates 24 Subway restaurants throughout the capital region. The EEOC says it tried to settle the case to get damages for the two teens, but they couldn't come to an agreement. In 2013, Draper told us Kelly is no longer with the company, saying, quote, We have a strict policy of demanding appropriate conduct from all our employees. We hold our employees to the highest standards and will not tolerate anything less. We thank everyone for their time and concern, and we consider this matter closed, unquote. A company representative said today it still stands by that statement. The lawsuit seeks an unspecified financial award for the teens. Kelly isn't facing any criminal charges because officials at the time say the tax didn't actually violate any criminal laws. A conference in the case is scheduled for mid-August. Live in studio, Brandon Lewis, CBS 6 News.